Hello and welcome to this episode of Psychic Medium Tony G. Today we're using the computer and doing a call-in show. I am so grateful that you're here with me today and I look forward to taking your call on this show. Okay, we are next going to go to caller dot 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 five 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 one. Why not? That seems like a a new area code. Hold on, hold on. Okay, five five one. Are you there? Hi, yes, this is T. I'm calling to see um, if you saw me relocating, and it's so weird. Yeah, uh, the first thing I get is a yes, and it's funny because when you said where, now this always makes me nervous because what if I'm wrong? <laughs> oh, what if I just heard this word? Uh, yes, you are relocating. Uh -huh. Are you, what, can I ask where you are right now? I'm in uh, New Jersey. New Jersey. Okay, the funny thing is, I keep hearing one area over and over and over again. I don't know why. I hope this resonates with you, but I keep hearing Denver. I don't know why, um, but I hear Denver, Denver, Denver. Uh, maybe that's because there is, maybe you're thinking of visiting there or something. I don't know if that's where you're absolutely going to relocate to. You have free will and choice, but I keep hearing Denver. Now, even if you don't go to D Denver, I feel like in, by June, you're going to know where you want to be, and you're going to take the steps to get there, okay? So by okay. June, I'm not saying in June, but by June, that could happen like throughout the rest of April and May, things are going to be shifting in your life, things are going to be rearranging. I see you kind of purging some things and getting rid of things. And I just see you being like, kind of, I'm just going to say sick and tired of the same old, same old. And you want something new, vibrant, okay. something exciting. Have you been, um, but I see you, now I am going to tell you, and I want you to know this, I am going to tell you that you are, going to leave if you do decide we have free will if you do decide to relocate you're going to relocate you have a great opportunity and a great opening to relocate out of state so where whether that means for you going down south or going to, and again, they're saying Denver, or going to Denver, it's going to be a great opportunity and a great opening coming in. This means, if I could say it another way, it would be all the stars are aligning and it's gonna fall into place. What, oh, what, around what time frame? I'm sorry, the phone broke up. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just hearing that now through June, by June, you're going to know if you want to make that move and when you want to make that move. So now, um, within that June time frame, you're going to know exactly where you want to go and what you want to do. Now you have free will. Now they're saying by June, you're going to know where you want to go. That doesn't mean you're going to move by June, but everything's going to fall into place by June so that you can make that move if you do so choose to. I'm going to tell you there's going to be one thing that might hold you back. Don't let it hold you back. Just, you know, put on your running shoes and go. If you do, there's a whole new I really want to go. There's a whole new world waiting for you and it's going to open up so much for you and you're going to you know, you, you have the potential to meet some really spectacular people if you relocate and get into a whole new energy. Yeah, I want to. Yeah, it, it'll be really good for you. No, no, no matter where you go, okay, sweetie? And, and, and what's holding me back? Um, I don't, that's, you know, that's another question for another show. 
but I will start clearing that. Let's just start clearing. There's something holding her back. We're going to get a uh, clear that out. Now, you might not even be aware of what's holding you back. Sometimes it can be something as simple as you don't want to leave a best friend or a guy or you're afraid the finances won't be available when you get there. Whatever it is, we're just clearing that away for you. Okay, sweetie? Okay. okay, you have an amazing rest of the week, and I look forward to hearing where you relocate to. Okay, okay. thank you. You're welcome. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for joining me here on Psychic Medium Tony G. That is going to air on WSCS. I want to take a moment to... Thank Rich, the camera guy, and Scott, the amazing um, editor. Scotty, my amazing editor. I believe that's what he does. I'm, I'm not good at the technical lingo, but he makes sure everything, these two guys do this whole show and make sure it runs beautifully. So thank you so much, guys. Next, we are going to go to area code 865. Hello, 865. How are you today? Hi, Tony. This is Lynn. I'm great. How are you today? Oh, I'm doing really good. Thank you so much for asking. How can I help you today? I, wa this, um, I wanted to know if I could make a connection uh, with a loved one. Okay. First name of the loved one in the relationship to you? Uh, Rebecca, my grandmother. Oh, okay. So instantly I see a woman and she has a man on her arm. And um, now I'm not sure if this, I, all I can tell you is, yeah, she's here. Instantly I see her. And I want to tell you the first thing she has to say to you is thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It was beautiful. Does that make sense to you? Um, well, I was, we were very close to each other, and I've been thinking about her a lot, a lot, since the last few days, yeah. Yeah, that's usually we think about a loved one a lot when they're really close to us, when they come down, and I'm going to tell you, at the holiday times, our loved ones come in um, a lot more clearly for us. Uh, we can feel okay. them a lot better. So that makes perfect sense to me. Um, I'm going to tell you, she just keeps saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. It was so beautiful. Thank you so much. It was so beautiful. So whether this is, um, she's really grateful for something that you did for her. Um, I'm not sure if this was, uh, 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 Sometimes they want to thank us for the ceremony. Sometimes they want to thank us for uh, something, the way we took care of them in the, near the end. Whatever it is, she's saying thank you very much. She's just very grateful for what you did for her. That is her main message for you. Okay, well, thank you so much. You're thank welcome. Thank you, Tony. You're I, welcome. I appreciate you. Thank you. Have Thank you. You also, and happy Easter. Happy Easter. Thank you. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Okay, everybody, we are doing amazing in getting through callers, but every time, <laughs> it's so funny because every time one caller drops off the switchboard, it fills up right away with another caller, and I love that. Thank you so much for calling, and remember, if you don't get through today, I, I apologize. I'm doing my best that I can. But remember, you can call in Monday, follow my show here, and you'll know every time I'm doing a show, and you'll be able to call in. And it does take some people, honestly, it does take some people like two months or five months to get through. But, but just, you know, I do the best I can, and I, I do want to get to as many people as possible. So now I'm going to go to caller number 307. Hello, 307. How are you today? Hi, how are you? I'm good. My name is Alyssa. Hi, how can I help you today? Um, yeah, I was wondering if you could connect to a loved one on the other side. First name and relationship to you? 
Um, his name was, it was my grandpa D, um, and he was my, well, my grandpa. <laughs> okay, just one second. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, okay. The first thing I want to ask you is, do you have a question or something you wanted to say to your grandpa? Your grandpa's energy is really very strong and kind of, um, I, I want to use the word intense, but that's not always considered a favorable word. But his, his energy is very okay. powerful. And yeah, intense. It's very powerful okay. and intense. So is there something you wanted to say to your grandpa or a question that you had for your grandpa? Um, I just want to tell him how much I love him, and um, I make sure that he's not uh, if oh that he's not disappointed in me. No. Okay. And, so, um, yeah. Okay. He's okay. So the first thing there's there's so much I want to say now because okay. So first he, when you said tell him I love him, he said I love her too. And then when you said he's not disappointed in me, the first thing I heard was never, never, ever, I couldn't be disappointed in her. Now, was little does um, does Little Red Riding Hood mean anything to you or that song? Um, he that it, it, it's two songs, it's two separate songs, but they're about the same thing. It's and it's it's relating to. Um, the first one is like uh, the the Red Riding Hood song, but the other one is. Um, it was more on the radio, and it was like, who's, who's afraid of the big bad wolf, or something like that. I can't get the verbiage correct, but he is, he, that's the song that's I'm hearing. Where did you say that last night? Okay. Last night when I was, um, I was watching a show, and um, a Johnny Cash song came on with some woman, and uh, uh, I just thought, oh my gosh, I, I miss my grandpa, like I felt my grandpa's presence there. And I just said out loud, Grandpa, I love you so much. And um, and then you said a song. So I'm sure that that's what yeah. he's talking about. Yeah. So this is a, a that's a con that's a total confirmation to let you know he's with you. He was with you, and he he will remain with you. And he is. Um, Okay, he's showing, I, I am not going to know what this is, and it is going to sound ridiculous. I'm just telling you this now. But he's showing me this, uh, like a TV shot, an older TV. And what's on the screen is a woman in a, like a white um, dress, but it, 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 it has the, uh, God, I can't even describe this. It's like, I don't know this show. I don't know. Is it Wheel of Fortune? No, no. It was a really, it's a, like a Western, like a kind of a Western where they wore the dresses down to their their feet and tight across the bodice and puffy upper arm and tight around the neck and this hat, um. this old hat. And... He's showing me this, and he's saying it's symbolic, it's symbolic that you might not know what show this is now, but maybe you'll be watching it later. Yeah. But she's trying to get in, she's climbing up onto a, 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 a like a, I want to call it a wagon, but it's a horse-drawn, like, wagon. So he's pointing that out, if you're, if, and this might be something that he used to watch, or something that you're going to see, and it's another confirmation just to let you know that he's with you, and okay. whether it's past or future, that he'll always be with you, okay? For some reason, gun smoke comes to my okay. um, mind, but I don't even know what that is. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I, um, maybe it's something that he used to watch. I think that might be it because then I got a big smile, like a yes, 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 and a breath oh. of relief, like, <sighs> Yes. So yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. And oh, well. so just know, uh, please know that, that everything you do and, and moving forward, please have confidence that he understands your path completely and you can't do anything wrong. This world is about experiences. 
having ex and, and we do an experience if we like the experience we might do it again if we don't like the experience then we just we shouldn't repeat it and that's really what's going on with this world um, so he says please don't don't feel like you have done like like uh, he could be disappointed because he could not be disappointed okay sweetie Okay. Okay, great. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Have an amazing day. You too. Thank you. Okay, so one a, a quick reminder again, if I say your area code, please pull your phone to your mouth. Uh, no speaker phone because the background noise really gives a loud echo. And we want to make sure that we have a really clear, good connection for everybody listening and watching on WSCS. So let's go to the next caller, 412. 412, how can I help you today? Hi, this is Mandy. Thanks for taking the call. Absolutely, absolutely. So do you have a question or a connection today? A question. I was looking to get some insight on Chad and I. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Sure. I was looking to get some insight on Chad and I. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, okay, absolutely. Okay. <sighs> okay. You scared me there for a second. I thought, oh, maybe I should have <laughs> No, it, it, um... You have, for me, because I'm from the Midwest, uh, you have a little bit of an accent, so it took me a moment to understand the, the words, but it's perfect, it's okay, I've got it now. Okay, so, um, so I just am gonna tell you some, some characteristics that they're giving me about him so that I can make sure I'm tapping okay. into the right energy. So sometimes he can be a little bit persnickety, and, but he is comical also. He's, he, he fancies himself to be a bit funny. Is this accurate? Uh, I wouldn't consider him a funny person. But he considers him a funny person. There's a difference. I, I he thinks he can. He he, I can't answer that. Go ahead. On. Hi. I think I w the information I'm getting is that he thinks he's he's he doesn't try to be comedic all the time, but every once in a while he thinks he does something or says something that's really funny. Is this the right person? Am I tapping into the right person? I, 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 again, you know what I'm saying, when I, when I think of his strong um, personality traits, I just don't think as, um, I don't think joking, funny, funny, those things don't, not that he can't be, you know what I'm saying, I just don't think those are his strengths. Okay, they're not, they're not saying it's his strength, but the, it's okay, we'll just keep going from here. Um, so what I'm going to say and hopefully I'm tapping into the right person. And I'm going to say that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hopefully. Because <laughs> I might, I hope I'm not reading someone else. <laughs> I'm just going to yeah, say. Yeah, somebody else wants to visit us today. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it has happened in the past where I'm, I have one person on the phone and I'm, I'm talking about somebody who shows up and then, uh, I get an email later saying, uh, oh, that was my grandma that you were connecting with, not hers. I'm, I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> good to know. So, okay, so as far as you and Chad go, what I would like to say is that the two of you have, I, I don't know this word, I don't know how to say this word, uh, so I'm, gonna, I'm asking them for another word, but there's, there is some chemistry there, there is some good relations there. Uh, so I'm asking them questions as we're going. And one of the questions that I'm asking them is like, does this have longevity? Instantly I hear yes. Is this on course? It's a little bit off course. Somebody's procrastinating this situation. In this situation, somebody's procra procrastinating. Um, I don't know if it's moving forward or taking the next step but the two of you are really good together 
and if you if you stay on course together everything will work out really well um, I feel like I keep hearing the word procrastination and I don't know if you know sometimes it's procrastination within the relationship and sometimes it's procrastination with something outside of the relationship but one of you is like I'm hearing the statement dragging your heels does that make sense to you I'm just trying to figure out if they're referring more to him or I. Are both of you dragging your heels? Is that what I'm getting here? Are both of you procrastinating? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, hey, if you're happy where you are, there's no need to push and run into things, right? Um, there's a little, you know what, I'm just going to, I'm. here's what I'm going to say. Everything is good. Everything looks really good. Everything is, uh, it's, it's solid, like very solid. Um, just don't go too far off course. Stay within course, okay? And everything will be really good, okay, sweetie? Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Did they see it, um, is it going to be getting more on course in the near future, or just to make sure I'm understanding it correctly? Um, yeah, this is up to the two of you because when I hear off course, I hear like uh, procrastination. So, and again, this could be procrastination with the relationship or this could be procrastination with um, things outside, outside of the relationship. So what I want to say is if one or both of you are procrastinating, figure out why. It doesn't have anything to do with each other. It has more to do with either the past or other circumstances. Figure that out, resolve it, and just get, 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 in, line, get in alignment with um, moving this forward. And here's a good, good way to say it. One of the things I always say to people in relationships, relationships are about learning about love, growing in love. So if you're not growing in love or growing together, you're growing apart. And it's really important to stay in alignment with that growth of love. Now that doesn't mean the love has to get bigger every day. That just means everything that's being done should be in alignment with a path of, of love. Does that, does that make some sense to you? Definitely, I agree with okay. that. Work. Now, I'm going to tell you this. In June, the two of you are going to have a breakthrough in your relationship. In June, the two of you are going to kind of, um, if we were talking about like a video game, you're going to level up <laughs> in your relationship, but you're going to have a little breakthrough okay. and you're going to move forward a little bit. Um, Sometimes this happens because there's a really deep discussion about something, and other times it happens because there's just a new level of trust there, or one of the per people has healed. And what I'm going to do for everybody who is um, stuck or procrastinating in the relationship that they're in, how about if we just do a clearing on that now? How does that sound to you? Most definitely. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm going to pull out a little Austin Powers there. <laughs> okay, so we're going to... I can't wait to tell my son that, but he gets home from school. We're going to love up. Yeah, and you know what? And as you do this, if you listen to this show, anybody listening to this show, who and this definitely hits me in my heart like I can't even get a breath. I feel like my eyes are going to like explode in a moment and water is going to fly forward. Uh, so whatever is being cleared right now that's keeping people stuck in their relationships or stuck in uh, love, that is all heart stuff going on, folks, all heart stuff. So every time you listen to this, all of the clearings that I've done today will continue to clear or clear another level of it. One time should be enough, but for some of us, we've been through a little bit more. It might take a, a second clearing or a third. So don't hesitate to re-listen to the show again and again 
to get those clearings that you need or want. So I want to thank you so much for calling in today. Please call me back in June and let me know how this went for you and what your breakthrough is. Okay, sweetie? Okay, I'm sure she heard me. I'm sure she will. And I want to thank everybody for listening today. This is Psychic Medium Tony G on WSCS. You can watch this show on WSCS. You can go to WSCS Sheboygan in, um, on YouTube or on social media, and you can watch the show there also. Or you can just re-listen to this episode. Um, again, if you follow the show, you will be able to uh, know the next time I'm going to record a show for WSCS, and you can be a part of it by calling in. Thank you so much again for joining me. I am so grateful for all of you that have joined us today, and thank you for sharing this space with me. Have an amazing week.